My name is Mark Hudson. Um, I'm going to be talking to you today about uh, iTunes U. Um, as Lene mentioned, I'm from the central team. Um, I'm the digital media coordinator for the team. Um, and I'm your iTunes U contact if you're interested in it. So there's my details. Um, my previous life, I was uh, the Echo 360 Flectopia system administrator. So I have a little bit of um, um, experience with these kind of media delivery systems. Okay, what is iTunes U? Uh, iTunes U is an open uh, repository of learning material. Um, it's free to download, to subscribe, to use. There's hundreds of thousands of courses and content available on it. Uh, the beauty of it is that the content is downloadable to an iOS device. So you can take that offline, carry it around wherever you like. Students can download their lecture materials, sit on the train, listen to it, review what they're doing um, at any time that suits them. And as I mentioned, it's free to use and it's free to create. The only thing you need is an Apple ID. Okay, so I'm going to give you a bit of a demonstration of our iTunes U site. Um, we haven't got a huge amount of content on it yet. Um, hopefully this works. Come on. Okay, so this is our iTunes U presence. Um, you can find it by logging on through iTunes, selecting iTunes U and then going down through the universities list. Or you can follow the tiny URL that I've created, which is tinyurl.com forward slash UWS on iTunes U. That'll be on the slide at the end. Uh, so what we see here on the front page is a whole stack of collections of materials that we've put up there. At the moment, most of it is uh, blended learning material, uh, but we are working with the School of Social Sciences and Psychology to develop um, our first iTunes U course, and that's going to be Behaviour and Environment. Um, and that will be hopefully available by the start of December. I'll um, try to give you a bit of a preview of that later on. Um, so what, what you can see here is that on, it's broken up into categories on the side here. Uh, you can nominate what the category is. There's a whole, whole list of them. Um, and we're also setting it up so that we can group collections by schools. So you can set up a presence uh, for your school that uh, has all of your school's content in there, makes it easily accessible for students or for the casual John Doe or Jane Doe browsing the internet. Um, so we do control some of the features on this page as well. So say for this featured content, we can say what goes in there. Um, and there are a few other options that we can tweak as well. I'll just show you this one. So once you select a piece of content, um, this is what you'll see. Um, so we've got a list of all of the different materials. Um, and it demonstrates what they can, what sort of material they are. So it would be a video, audio, or a document. Um, iTunes U will support you know, most documents, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Um, and you can subscribe to it. If you're on an iOS device, so that's an iPad or an iPhone, uh, you do get some enhanced features by sus subscribing to the course or um, collection through those devices. Just give you a little demonstration here of what one of the videos looks like. I love playing this one because it features our favourite two uh, central unit members. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Views. The volume there, hopefully. Oh, I'm there we go. Hi. Who's seen this video already? I'm Gina. I, went from the I like that. That's very good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Settle down, Tom, you know. <laughs> He's starting to get a rider now, so it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's the iTunes U site um, through iTunes. Uh, I'll just give you a little 
actually I'll just move on if I've got time we'll come back to looking at it on the iPad, it's slightly different. Um, I'll just move on. Okay. Okay, so how do you get a piece of, how do you get a course or a unit? Um, iTunes refers to everything as a course. Um, you would probably think of it as being a unit for your school. How do you get that up on to iTunes U? So the first step is to plan it and build it. And we do that through Course Manager. Um, that's available through iTunes. It's a web-based application. Um, again, all you need is an uh, Apple ID. And uh, you just log in through the web UI. Um, you upload your materials. And you can preview your materials there. And you can share it privately from there. Um, and then you can take the final step, which is to make it, to publish it to the iTunes store and make it available through iTunes U. Okay. So the iTunes U course manager supports an awful amount of content. Uh, pretty much any document that you can think of, it will intake and will be downloadable to an iOS device. So that includes uh, Word, PowerPoint, um, your PDFs, your EPUBs, your iBooks. Uh, so we've got your, any standard type of audio file, so MP3 or an MP4A, oh sorry, an M4A or an MP4. Um, it also handles Keynote documents if you're using a Mac. Uh, we've got the ability to link to iTunes you, uh, sorry, iTunes store items as well. So um, if there's another book or something that you think students would get advantage of using from the course, you can actually link to that item and students can be prompted to go and download that item. And it can be a free or a paid for item. And the same with the apps. So if you're building a course and you have a particular app that you use in your course that students would find useful, you can link to that app from within the course, directing students to go and download it. Um, it also supports web links, so that can be to YouTube or basically pretty much anywhere on the internet. Um, and a new feature they've brought in is RSS feeds. Um, so it's probably not something that most people are going to use, but an example of it would be if you have a, a series of lecture captures that you wanted to link to. You could do that through an RSS feed. Okay. Why do you want to use this? Um, well, iTunes U is, is a really good way to promote your school's content. Uh, it's open to the world. So you, you're now not just promoting your unit to you know, people in our area, you're pushing it out to the world. Um, it's a good way to build interest in your school, in the university in general. Okay. If you have some really good content that you want to share, or you have an idea that's going around that you think, geez, this would be really good for iTunes U, this would be a really good way to get people interested in our school, why not share it? Get approval from you know, the school to do it. Come and contact either myself or Lene, um, or you know, go to your blended learning advisor and it can go up through the chain and we can build something and we can get this content out. Um, so, if you want to have, know a bit more about it, there's the link to the iTunes U store site. Um, and we'll be running a training session on <coughs> iTunes U course manager on the 29th of October at this stage. Um, and if you're interested in any way about getting some content up on iTunes U. I just wanted to ask about the connection to different documents. Can you connect using DOI? Um, well, it's a direct file. So the different documents. So it's a, you upload the document to the course manager and it sits within the, within the cloud. So you could upload it to... All right. Okay. Does that answer your question? Kind of. Okay. If you want to know more, come and see me. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're creating, a, we're doing the webinar on um, 
on iTunes, you course manager. So uh, the course manager webinar um, yeah, is on the 29th, and we'll be probably looking at things, you know, how, do, how you actually build your course, how you get your content up there, how you create the, the site. Uh, it's a very easy tool, and if you've got an iTunes U, uh, sorry, an Apple ID already, you can go there now and you can create one of these things. And the beauty of having an institutional site is that when you go through create your account, you can select University of Western Sydney as your institute, and you lose the restriction of having only five courses and a 20 gig file in it. So, what you end up having is unlimited courses with an unlimited file upload. So you can push as much content up to these things as you want, or as you feel you need to push up. Um, there is a file size limit of two gigabytes, uh, which is pretty large, and if you consider who your target audience is with these things, people with iPads or iPhones, um, a two gigabyte file is a pretty hefty file to be downloading to one of those devices. Um, so I'll just, since we've got a little bit of extra time here, I'm just going to go through the um, iTunes U iPad store and I'll show you what Course Manager looks like, which is the iTunes app that you download. the iTunes U app. It's available free from the iTunes U store. Um, and pretty much if you're going to use iTunes U um, to view and share content, this is what you'll want to play with. Um, it categorizes all of your iTunes items. Um, so as you can see, we've got a few different things there. Okay, these little, little bubbles that appear in the corner. So you see the three there and the one there. It indicates that there's a new post that's been pushed or a new piece of material that's been pushed to the iTunes, um, the iTunes U course. So if we'll just have a look at this. So this is Behaviour Environment. This is the course that I mentioned earlier that we're working with School of um, Psychology and Social Sciences with. Um, so as you can see here, so this is the... Oops, so this is the main page, and this basically just gives an overview of what the course is, what's expected of the students, um, and it breaks down into, you know, who's doing it, what the various uh, modules are within the course, and, and what they involve. Okay, so we've got the post tab, and you would think of the post tab is um, basically your lesson plan. This is where students would go to do their do their study. Um, so it's broken down into, each, each module in this case is then broken down into, um, a bit hard to illustrate here, so I've got the content and then you can associate an activity. So an activity can be going to this website and complete this and then come back to us. Um, or in this case it's, it's a video that, uh, that they've uploaded. So it, it keeps everything within the app as well. So if you upload a piece of content through Course Manager, it keeps it in-app, which means students aren't going off to various different sites and getting lost on YouTube or Google or those sorts of places. So if you're going to do video, the best bet is to really push it up to the Course Manager and keep people engaged in your course. Is that fine? And this is also very important to me. As a I don't know if you can hear that coming through her. Ticks indicate things I want in my environment, like rain, rivers, birds, etc. And the crossings indicate things I'd like to avoid, droughts and bushfires. Right. By the way, you might... There you go. So that's a little preview of, of what's being done at the moment. Um, 
So, and it also, I'll just show you with the iBooks, you know, it ties into the iBooks as well. So again, it's keeping everyone engaged in sight. I'll go off and I'll download the iBook. I thought I had it on this one. Apparently I don't. But I'll go off and download it and open it up. And, and away you go. So, um, and there'll be webinars on. I think they've got a webinar coming up on iBooks as well pretty soon. Um, and that's pretty much what I've got at the moment.